big late day news with an XRP milestone that you all need to hear about. Stellar XLM partnerships. Yep, got some new ones I need to share with you. Charles from ADA is out there saying, yo, big things coming. Bitcoin ties it all together and check out pretty girl in the corner hanging out by herself. Look how big this is compared to my hand. This is very deceiving with the camera. It's actually pretty big. That's what she said. And welcome new viewers and old friends. And if you don't know the deal, well, you're going to learn it. Guess what? Viewers' comments come first. Drop me something spicy, something naughty. Maybe I'll share it in the next video. Reverend Funky Rob Melvin says, Today's Sunday school lesson, boys and girls, do your own research and watch Crypto with Klaus. Did a story earlier about XRP and bricks, and it's all speculation. Trick says, happy Sunday, Klaus. I say happy Sunday to you, Hawk. Trick hawkish as could be, but he has been spot on when it comes to rates. James Anthony says, shout out to you, bro. Appreciate your real talk. Straight shooter, you are indeed. I'm telling you, I bring the news whether it's good or bad. And trust me, it's not easy trying to grow a channel, telling the truth in a world full with hopium. The Locust Emperor says, carbon fiber barrel muzzle brake with a very expensive stock built-in bipod and the biggest damn scope I've ever seen. Okay, it is an accuracy specialty built barrel. It is a screw in brake. This is actually like the biggest shank you could get for this caliber right here. It keeps the heat down, it's really nice. It is very heavy. Scope, oh, homegirl goes out to 21. What do I got, 20 MOA base? Okay, okay, look, it's a long distance rifle that I built, leave me alone. What else do I got? It's hot as balls out, 102 today in the hood. Bitcoin's sitting at 63, 7.79, 8.34.3. Market's looking soft, dude. Market can legit use some Viagra at the moment. BNB 582, sold 130. XRP gonna talk about today. Big milestone, 48.1. XLM floating right around that nine cent mark. We're going to talk ADA as well. Charles has got something to say. Toncoin, by the way, deep in the green, up almost 5% right now, 763. By the way, speaking of Toncoin, remember I bring the news good or bad, Toncoin's been hot. Passing Doge right now in terms of market cap. Check it out, Toncoin slides into eighth. Passing Doge, XRP ahead of it by quite a bit, but Toncoin making moves. I'll have that video linked at the end. Hodgkin says, says, Cardano is waking up as soon as V3 pulls some big numbers. A leading decentralized exchange built on Cardano processed up to 9,264 orders in 24 hours. It's actually not that bad. The CTO Sunday Lab said about 900 of the processors were placed and executed in the same block. Half the orders total were executed within 30 seconds. That's nice. Moving pretty quickly. So that's some Cardano action. Now, what did Charles say? Charles said, and remember that so much amazing tech is coming over the next few years. Cardano is waking up. And as always, any article you've seen in this video, along with all the ones, will be linked in the description below. And if you want to hang out with me on Twitter, no, I'm not calling it my ex. I have exes that I cannot fucking stand. They reserve the right to be called exes. I'm not going to call Twitter something that I don't like. So I'm going to call it Twitter. Want to hang out with me? It's linked down below. Some naughty conversations going on. There's some very, very naughty stuff that they don't allow on YouTube, but they allow on Twitter. So let it fucking fly, girlfriend. All right, what else do I got for you? Stellar. Okay. The stuff with decaf is big, using routing numbers and all that has to do with rails. Stellar's rails are really, really juicy. Uh, Jordan is right. Utility isn't sexy. No, it's not. Bad price is also not sexy. But utility can be sexy, though. I mean, I want you to think about it. Utility can really be sexy. There's a commercial out there that it's going around, and it's like how boring made things great, like boring makes things great, and it's totally true. And boring can be sexy. And you're like, Klaus, what do you mean? Because if you're boring, but you've got results and results and results, and you're stacking win after win after win, you could be boring as all hell winning by one run. But if you're stacking W's time and time and time again, you could be boring with utility and sexy and desirable. What else does Stellar have with us besides decaf? And by the way, the decaf thing is actually really, really good. There's a lot of talk about it. Zeta Block integrates with Stellar to simplify blockchain development. We're bringing powerful data infrastructure tools. Here's the announcement from them. Check it out. Got it up on the screen. June 19th. There you go. June 19th. Zeta Block, industry leading institutional grade Web3 data infrastructure platform, is proud to announce a new collaboration with Stellar Development Foundation, the organization that supports in development and growth of the Stellar network all right so we're talking organic news as well 
Ripple hits a big milestone. We're talking XRPL action. You're like, Klaus, what's the deal here? Automated market makers. We got some liquidity pool action. What's the big milestone? 10 million XRP locked up in this. That's pretty good. And that's across 600 automated market maker tools. That's juicy. That's good. That's moving. I said there was some big news for Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin beating the ever living shit out of all of them price wise. So Charles can say whatever the F he wants about ooh, Sunday V3 is going to pull some big numbers and we're going to we're going to we're going to blow the world with this shit. Well, investors say otherwise is Cardano right here in the green down the most over the last six months compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin up 50 percent. Cardano down 36 Stellar's got partnerships, they've got utility, they've got rails, but they don't have the sexiness. Jordan E, so yes, you are right both ways. Utility isn't sexy, but utility can be sexy. I'm just putting it out there. You just got to stack some W's, right, my guys and gals? Making it better for builders and Web3 stuff is awesome. But again, XLM in purple is down 32%, while BTC is up 50%. Now, automated market makers, 10 million XRP locked up in that bad boy. That is great news. I like that. I like that. Some juicy swap action. I, there's a lot of viewers that love using that kind of stuff. Seriously, there, there are a lot of you out there that show me the comments with it. Uh, a lot of it on Twitter. We do talk about that kind of stuff on there. So, yeah, I, I, we've got people that use it. But, again, the price just isn't there. XRP down 22%, BTC up 50%. I talked earlier about TonCoin passing Doge. Are you for real, Klaus? Yeah, I'm for real. Passing Doge, TonCoin. The only one in the top 10 that has been green all year. Look at this. Last 30 days, 20%. Last or year to date, up 200%. Only one. Others have struggled. BTC, we get it. People talk about boring, but bro, there's transaction speeds. It's slow as shit. It costs a lot of money. Dude, are you using BTC to move money or are you using BTC to make money? Because if you're using BTC to make money, then girlfriend, you are making money. So then we get back down to the utility tokens of ADA, XRP, and XLM. Zoom out to the year and all of a sudden you could see BTC up 100% in the last year. ADA up about 30%. XLM for last year sideways along with XRP sideways as well. Zoom out a bit more and you're looking at the true utility. The true utility is store of value, boys and girls. See, BTC has the store of value play, the hedge against inflation, the hedge against government screwing up your fiat. And that's global. So it's not about the usage and it's not about the tech, but the store of value play along with some speculative juice sprinkled in on there. Oh, you got yourself something saucy and spicy, don't you, girlfriend? The two-year chart shows us that BTC up 181%. XRP in pink here at 33% to the positive side. That's not bad for two years. I know, I know, I know. It's not juicy like a lot of other stuff out there, but the reality is if you're up 33% in general for something in two years, that's pretty freaking good. XRP or XLM and Cardano both down negative 20, negative 25% respectively. So sexy utility and growth. Well, you know, we've been talking about it. People have been talking about it. All the liquidity pools, automated market makers, all that kind of juicy stuff, partnerships, all that kind of stuff. But what does the world want? The world wants sexy and Bitcoin, albeit right, slow is sexy ton coin has become very sexy why because of the huge action with pantera capital integration with telegram 30 million downloads a month dogwood hat and all that that was sexy too look at pay pay up 754 percent for the year I get utilities not sexy, and I've got ICP up on the screen. ICP down 40% for the year. But utility can be sexy, and what do people want? People want sexy. 
And that's something that a lot of us have learned and that some of us are still trying to continue to grasp is that sexy is what the crypto market wants. They want risk. They want reward. And sexy with W's is a big thing for my football fans out there, my European football fans. What if your team wins? Like every game won nothing. Just kind of boring. Nothing fancy. Maybe just a little cheeky goal, a little cheeky chip, and nothing sexy, right? But you win, like, everything. It'd be boring wins, and maybe you scored the goal in, like, the 38th minute, and the rest of the game you just played boring defense and just kind of slowed things down, right? You brought people back in defense. I used to play. I used to play a little soccer. So that's not sexy, but when those Ws stack up, it is sexy. What about for my American football fans? The running game isn't the sexiest thing out there, right? We want run and gun action, dude. We want deep fly patterns, dude. We want zips, man. We want them outs, dude. We want 10 and outs, 13 and outs. Give me some posts and run and roll that bitch. Now, we just run the football, kind of keep it between the tackles. Like, it's kind of meh, you know. Maybe you break out a big run here and there, but it's kind of boring. But what if you win every game 7-0 because you control the clock? What if you win every game 7 nothing? because you know what? You had your offense out there that could slow the tempo down, your defense out there that could stall them, and guess what? You, you hardly scored any touchdowns, but you won all the games. Okay, again, W's add up to sexy, doesn't it? And some of these companies are having W's, but they're not W's that the market really cares about. And I think that's the distinction that a lot of people are having trouble with. You have to look at this whole thing. It's not what you think is sexy or what I think is sexy, but what the numbers are telling us is sexy. Because remember, crypto is traded globally. So we have to eliminate any U.S.-based bias. We have to eliminate any cross-the-pond bias because that's not taking account for any Asian-based bias or African-based bias. So you got to let the data tell you what's up. you got to look at the charts. That's why I did the comparison. But Klaus... That's not fair comparing it to Bitcoin. Well, you, you who say that, you need to shut the fuck up. Because when you do something, when you compare yourself, when you go out there and you race, you compare yourself to the best. I don't enter races going, oh, I, I hope I'm going to end up in 13th out of 50. No, I go in there with the intention of winning and kick some ass. Do I win and kick some ass every time? No, I'm not perfect. I'm not Michael Jordan. Sorry, LeBron fans. Kobe, I like you too. But I do. I go in there with the intention of trying to win, trying to just break opponents down and end up in first. And that's why I compare myself to first. That's why when you're, when you're playing golf, how many strokes are you behind the leader? How many points are you back from the lead when you're racing, right? My NASCAR fans out there in my Formula One. How many seconds are you off from the leader? That's what we're talking about. From the leader, not, well, how are you doing mid-pack wise? So yeah, I'm showing you what's sexy. And I'm showing you that utility can be sexy if you stack the right W's. So maybe the 2.0 version of crypto as we see it is going to be the survival of companies in projects that are able to be utilitarian and sexy. Because right now, we're seeing that play out and we're watching sexy dominate. And if you got utility and sexy, well, then maybe you could play in this pool. So that's the deal, Lemon Peel. I did a sprint workout today. Yeah, it really sucked. It was in the mid-90s outside. Yeah, and I did sprints on top of a tennis court. It really, really sucked. Uh, lots of fun. Why? Because I've got a heat race coming up. And again, what am I going to do with the heat race? I'm going to try to win it. Even though it's really hard for me to, I'm probably not going to. I'm going to go in there with the intention of trying to win. And I'm going to chase them motherfuckers down. So I'm going to train outside in the heat. I'm going to work on sprints in the next couple weeks. I'm going to work on speed in the next few weeks. The foundation's been built. The hay is in the barn. We got to ramp up the training. We got to give ourselves a little bit more caffeine, a little bit more cool down, maybe drop a little bit more weight. As you can tell, I've really been dropping weight. I'm starting to get very, very, very veiny, very, very, like, you know, in good shape. And we try for the win. We're going to look at the leaderboard, compare ourselves to the leaderboard, and see what we need to do to win because winning is sexy. You know what else is sexy? 
I don't know. I, I thought I was going to have something witty, but I really didn't. Actually, I had something naughty, but I didn't want to say because it, it would have been way too naughty. Either way, electrolytes, you know the deal, everyone. I'll catch you cool cats later. Let me know what you're doing for the rest of the night. And maybe I'll respond back while I'm doing some elliptical for the rest of the night because it's hot as balls outside.